The flamethrower fires a stream of hitboxes. These hitboxes do not have a range restriction, but a time to live instead. Additionally, when you move your character, those hitboxes inherit some of the speed. So if you move forward, it will go faster and reach further from your firing position. When you move backwards, they will move slower and not reach as far. Analogically, a similar thing happens when walking to the sides. This is important to remember when you're aiming your flamethrower, as you need to compensate for your movement. Turning doesn't really affect those hitboxes all that much, but it is good to note that the hitboxes will stay aligned with the map's axes, no matter which direction you're facing. There is a bug that affects the origin point of the flamethrower hitboxes. If a player's latency rises, the origin point is pushed back, even behind the character. In this example, I am gradually increasing my ping value using net fake lag command. This moves the origin point behind my character. until it finally resets. Now, by lowering my ping slowly, I can achieve a range extension. It does reset once more along the way, but in the end, at ping zero, my range is significantly longer. In this example I have a bot set to mirror my movements. Since uh, the bot does the exact same movements as me, he should be able to hit me whenever I hit him. However, since the bot's range isn't extended, I can safely hit him without him reaching me. Here you can see the same thing happening from a top-down perspective. In this example, I compare my range to the range of another player on my local server. The server had to be local for hitbox visualization to work. In this example, I gradually increase my range while firing, so I can reach the previously unreachable enemy. Surprisingly, 
I still manage to damage a player directly in front of me, despite the origin point being extended way past them. I asked my partner to try and mess with their internet connection while I record their flamethrower behavior. Despite no visible changes in the ping value on the scoreboard, it appears that the flamethrower hitboxes are all over the place, suggesting that even small changes in the internet's connection stability may affect your flamethrower range. I asked another player to join my local server. Despite the fact that none of these players attempted to affect their network performance in any way, the blue player holds the advantage. In this test I wanted to see how the hitbox origin point may behave without any action from the player. I sped most of it up for your convenience. At one point, the blue player achieves a great range increase, presumably due to some network issue. This clip was recorded on a Valve public server. As you can see, the red player's range is greater than mine in this instance. Wow! Are you fucking serious? Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like to know how in my experience this affects gameplay, check this older video I made.